welcome to Jason Reviews, and today I'll be looking at some of the Dior home items. Let's go ahead and get this box open. In terms of shipping, I always do the couture option, so that comes with the gift box, the gift bow, as well as a gift message. If you do choose the eco option, it'll be placed within the cardboard box, but there will still be the signature Dior shipping paper. But I feel in terms of protection while being shipped, I feel the couture option is a little bit better. And then when you have the actual package and you're opening it, the presentation is quite nice too. So right off the top, you can see that there is the Sauvage, the miniature ritual. These are all travel size minis. First impression, I absolutely love this box. Little goodie bag feels completely full. And then here are the items that I ordered. I wanna briefly talk about the colors and design of the boxes. I do like how on at least three of them, they do have the silver sides and it's kind of highlighted within the white. I feel like for marketing purposes, that's really nice. But the Dior home is a little bit different. It's got rivet on the boxes. And then lastly is the shower gel. And I didn't even notice some of the miniatures were outside of the little gift bag. Let's start off with this first one. So this is the Elixir, Sauvage Elixir. The sample packaging is really cool. It talks a little bit about the product on the inside, and I do gotta say it's very strong. Next up is the Les Adorables. This is kind of cool. I've never received this one before. This is the different body creams available on the website separately, but there is a package where you can get all three of them together in full size, so this is very cool. This was the second sample, the Jador Les Adorables Shimmering Body Gel. I was gonna, actually gonna give this to a friend, see if they like it, but I know this is supposed to be better for the skin. Also included, this was the Capture Total Trial Kit. I guess technically this can be considered a sample. And then of course we have the Sauvage et Dia de Toilette. And this was the new Jador Lior sample that they had available. I chose this just because I wanted to take a sampler of it and I absolutely love the little bottle. Next up is the Amber Newit miniature. Again, this is very strong for men. Here is the Sauvage mini ritual and you can see there's the shower gel, aftershave bomb shaving gel, and the cologne as well in a magnetic box. And here's a closer look at the rivets on the Dior Home cologne box. Right off the bat, before opening the box, I could already smell its very citrus heavy scent. I love how it kind of has a bluish tint similar to the blue on the cologne at the bottom of the bottle. I love how the white kind of highlights the liquid inside and the little faucet for where the spray comes out of too. As the Sauvage Chet has shown me, None of this bath and body is complete without a signature deodorant. This one I gotta tell you is a lot stronger than the Sauvage deodorant. And I do like how this one has the extra plastic around the side. I will be opening that up a little bit later and here it is next to the cologne. I love how the white kind of carries over from both. And again, on the blue background, they absolutely pop. And I wanted to show off the regular Dior home boxes a little bit more. So the silver does carry around from the sides to the back and then the front does have that signature Dior home box. And the front is not as reflective as the sides and there's the signature beetle. Opening this up, this is the aftershave balm. I tend to actually favor the Sauvage one a lot. I love how it looks within the signature cologne bottle. This one looks very similar and topped off with a sleek cap. Next is the Dior Home Shower Gel. This one was actually kind of hard to find. I was surprised when it was available on the website because when I had put it on the shopping list, it had been unavailable and I believe that they have discontinued it because I haven't been able to find it anywhere on the website since and not even from department stores. This one I could smell right out of the box and I'm very excited to be giving an honest review about it a little bit later. Overall, this was the unboxing of four different Dior Home products. I can't wait to be giving that full review a little bit later. Just need some time to test them out to see how they compare. And I do have some other comparison videos coming out soon. 
I hope that you would let me know what your thoughts were. Please subscribe, comment, and hit that bell notification so you can stay tuned for another video. I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye.